Howdy caddies. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. Hope you're going good. We've got heaps of cool stuff this week. This little booklet's a ripper. Birds of the sunny south with Australian flowers. It's got lovely little colour lithograph plates by Violet Teague, Ina Gregory and other artists. It's a lovely little bit. Beautiful opal pendant on a gold chain. Nice little Art Deco half doll over the back there. A little beaten sterling silver George Jensen bowl. These are really nice little Christmas pudding decorations. Sterling silver on their original carded back. Some footy ephemera. Some carved bone. Some silver and sort of Scottish Celtic pewter. A couple of nice pendants. A little Wedgwood brooch. Derbyshire emu. He's had restoration around his neck. But he's pretty cool. So yeah, there's some nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet this week. There's more good stuff like this bright red enamelled sort of industrial style display cabinet. Industrial, um, it's got adjustable shelves. Good thing. Cool little 70s yellow ceramic horse. This is a nice little carved alabaster lamp. It's all nicely pierced through. Really nice old fan as well. There's no brand on it. But it's nice with the old brass cage and blades. Oriental little Tansu cabinet, I think they're called. It's a bit unusual, this sort of little rough edge section here and through here. Little Art Deco smoker stand to ripper. Nice little Art Nouveau or Arts and Crafts plant stand. White painted pot stand, heavy cast iron. Little fold up cake stand. This is rad. Commodore VIC-20 computer. It's original box. Got a couple of cords there to go with it. It's just a great thing. Pretty cool microscope. Some ladies' accessories. Some enameled signs. Good lot of Snoopy books. Two more scientific sort of microscopes and stuff. Some U2 records. I think we've got some good Australian records actually back here. There we go. Living in the Land of Oz. Midnight Oil, The Angels, Masters Apprentices. Big lot of kids' books. Some more records, U2. Little mix like Genesis, Black Sabbath and John Miles single. I think a dump level or dumpy level. What else have we got? Ephemera, racing ephemera. A couple of nice boxes of mix sort of ceramics and glass and stuff. Nice little brass and onyx standard lamp there. And this nice big heavily carved and turned cedar standard lamp. Good little box of records. Taj Mahal. Concert of the Decade. Ten years after. Joe Cocker. Super Tramp. Nice little Pi stereo system with the speakers. A nice little amplifier and the turntable. Boxes of stuff. A Pray Dew. There you go, a little badge there, I think made by Craig Williamson in Melbourne. Nice little collection of oak furniture. Old milk bar sign. 137 uh, Heathmont or something like that. Oh, it's from Heathmont. It says in the catalogue description what the address was. Some tricycles and a tonka. Some tool cabinets. Big collection of lamps. Including this guy. A little bit of a chip out at the base, but he's still got his moustache intact. Some nice lamps in amongst here. It's a nice group lot. This is a good lot of stereo gear, plus some records. But it's a nice little Philips 1980s t system with an added thorn amplifier or tuner in amongst. What else have we got? More stuff down the back. Big lot of tools. All these little tool tidies go with this lot here. What, number 45? There's about five or six boxes of tools, plus all the tool tidies. We've got some good CDs, some good ephemera. They're pretty cool. A Richmond vinyl Richmond sports bag with a couple of books, Jack Dyer and Royce Hart. But he's a nice vintage one with the old VFL emblem. Japanese screen printing little kit. And a nice, funny little sort of low table. What else have we got? Some nice chairs, Tessa, pair of leather ones. This is a nice 70s rug. And these sort of 1980s sort of chrome cantilever frame ones are really nice and clean. 
old aqua tint there of the British Queen, the boat. <laughs> what else have we got? Heaps of nice pretty china and stuff this week. Some more good records. Rare Earth in Constant Beach Boys box set. Nice collection of brass and copper. APNS. Uh, Sophie Scarsbeck, I think. Three paintings by her. Some nice Victorian china. English china. Nice big lot of crystal. A couple of haunting horns. Nice lot of mid century sort of domestic ceramics. Some toys. Some serving EP. Johnny Stanesco oil, which is really nice. Got some really nice paintings this week. Nice little Charles Young. Uh, Nelson Penka, little Hermansburg. Donald Ramanayaka, pretty cool Sri Lankan artist. It's a nice example of his work. Japanese woodblock print. Charles Bock. Sydney Harbour Mosman, I think it is. Boats at Rest Mosman or something like that. You got one nice big Hank Guth and then another nice big Hank Guth. Got some interesting little British school watercolours. This one's signed Jay Reynolds. Be nice if it was Joshua. It's just nice with some little sheep. It's a bit faded, but it's a lovely watercolour. It's hard to see here. Another nice little British school one, which is signed Gould, G O O L D. People fetching some bales to fix the roof up with. This is really nice. To Foddy from Bay, 1925. Lovely oil under glass portrait. And this is a ripper. Little Arthur Baker Clack oil, impressionist. Um, born here, went over to Paris, France in about 1910 and lived over there. Painted with, I think he trained with Rupert Bunny. And some other people. It's a nice little example of his work. It's a lovely little thing. What else have we got? Some kitchen canisters, Japanese woodblock prints. Pretty cool novelty telephone, nice big box of 45s, another mix lot of rock records, Kiss, Bon Jovi and a bit of Joan Jett, The Doors and King Crimson, Matchbox, Matchbox, Deep Purple, Led Zepp 3. These are interesting dies for, I think, sporting medals, horse racing medals, and these are die for, dies for military medals. Victorian oil lamp, nice Victorian chromolitho, some sort of plastic and perspex signs. Good lot of Pink Floyd albums, I think there's four in the group lot. And a nice lot of sort of rock and roll, Credence, Bad Company, Neil Young, Travelling Wilburys, Little Glass Aminals. Here's a nice collection of carved African ebony figures. And that guy, little bronze... Buddha and a carved ebony Buddha. Some more matchboxes. Goat's head. Yeah, goat's head. Nice big eastern charger. Derek Walker serigraph or screen print of St. Michael's Mount. This is a nice old 19th century engraved map. The county of Mornington in Victoria. Big West German pot. Nice collection of brass pots. Depression glass. Good lot of English china. Pretty cool album, Stairway to Heaven, Highway to Hell, all covers. Motley Crue, Ozzy Osbourne, Skid Row, Bon Jovi. Two bits of signed orifers and a nice flat bottom decanter. These are a nice set of English plates. Casey Ware, little group lot, nice lot of pottery. There's a crack in the Melrose and a couple of chips out of the Hoffman jug, but the two little bits of Remude are good. Nice big lot of matchboxes. Little Dartmoor Pixie brass dish with some nice wind chimes. Some shells, including an owl money box. Two nice little enameled round signs, some nice boxes. Military radio kit or something. Marconi. Looks pretty cool. Little bits of mid century. Nice little lot of sort of shipping related. A couple of nice whiskey jugs. Little group lot with the red bark vase. Trannies. This is a nice vintage cabinet plate, Victorian, I think, with the Portland vase and some other nice little sort of dishes as well. Some Snoopy ceramics, Japanese teapot, plural. Got a lot of sort of grunge CDs, Pixies, Sonic Youth, Blur, Nirvana, Hole, Nick Cave box set. More Matchbox, Beatles boxed cassette set. 
Cool little brass tray there from the Isle of Man. What else have we got? Two more enamel double-sided signs. Nice collection of glass and crystal. Stuart and other stuff in amongst. Some ephemera. A little lot of 1930s sort of ceramics. Nice lot of oriental gear. A little lot of salts and peps and stuff. Tobacco jar. He's nice to see his lid, but it is damaged. But we put the pipes with it as well. Nice little group. And he's pretty cool. A retro soda siphon. Port Marion, designed by Susan William Ellis. Three Wedgwood cabinet plates of Melbourne historic buildings. Nice little lot of Oriental with the Chinese vase. I think there's a couple of little chips out of the top of it. Deco light shade. Nice collection of EP vases. Nice uh, mantel clock. Seth Thomas American. Robe of teapot. Victorian oil lamps. A ripper with that nice green glass bowl. A couple of Churchills. Two are better than one. Bottle of pen folds. Nice musical tankard. We've got some nice stuff down the bottom here. A lovely mantle clock. This is a nice World War One certificate of thanks. Pretty amazing photograph album. Australian beauty snaps. There's some really cool panoramic stuff. Sorrento. And it goes all the way across both pages. It's a really nice album. Black Spur Road, Narbathong near Marysville. Once again, it's sort of two big panoramic photos. Really nice lot. Victorian scrap album and contents. Heavy Eastern bronze bell. Speaking of bells, there you go. Pretty amazing little lot. All tuned to ring differently. Missing a couple of mallets that should be mounted here, but not difficult to find. It's got a little RD number as well on the copper. It's just a really nice bit. I think it's going to be the what's it worth this week. Dalton, Meissen, Cartware, Florenz. Nice pair of Flow Blue. Fidjo Lotti Market set. Got a nice German Rosenthal studio line signed. And a nice Villaroy and Bock. Prattware Trio. Really nice collection of crystal. More Fidjo Lotti. Little Meissen. Another Meissen. Nice Oriental, nice collection, three bits of Dalton. There's a lovely little jade tree there with a Clisone pot. Dickens Whiskey Decanter is the ripper. And this really nice little World War I presentation for Private Roy Smith. Born January 1864, uh, embarked 1914, War Service France, wounded in Poziers 1915. Really cool bit. There's some nice stuff in the auction this week, guys. Hopefully we see you on Thursday night. Stay dry.